Hi there. I'm going to show you this evening on about how to translate or transfer, if you like, a Word document into Blogger, into sort of to create a post. Now, I've been doing this for quite a while, and I've um, sort of picked up a few things where there's there's problems with the formatting of of Word documents. So. I'm going to show you with a, an example post that was sent to me by Helen. And so first of all, we'll fire up the Word document. Here's the Word document. Now, whilst we've got it in Word, before we take it into um, Blogger, we can just tidy up the the formatting a little bit. Um, the insert and then Aston and then a number is inserting photographs and there's the photographs there so um, that just gives you some idea of what sort of thing we end up to start with now I'm just sort of basically just tidying this up a little bit not too worried about what it looks like at this stage because um, you'll see why once we get it across so there's our um, rough word document so I'm going to copy that and we'll create a new post and in compose mode, if I just paste that into the document, it more or less looks the same as it did in Word, and there's links and, and what have you. If we preview the thing, you will see that whilst it looks OK, it's not using the same fonts as the actual blog itself. It's sort of overwritten um, that part of it. And the reason being is we still end up, when we just cop paste into compose mode, we bring with us all of these style um, codes all the way through the document. It's a real horrible bit of HTML coding. You can go to HTML here to see this. Now, whilst you can take these out, it'll take you hours to um, tidy all this lot up. Uh, believe me, I've <laughs> tried doing it before now. So let's go back to square one. We'll just do a... Um, oh, it's not going to do it, is it? Oh, there we go. We undo. So we're back to our document. This time, however, I'm going to click on HTML and paste into HTML so we've got our same document but this time of course it's got no formatting whatsoever now what that so that's fine then isn't it well not quite if we look at the preview oh dear we've lost all our um, paragraph breaks so that's not quite right either however we still have them in the basic thing all we have to do to get them back again is to put in this little bit of code here which is basically a break tag and if we I'm cheating here as usual put two of those in that's a line feed carriage return so if I copy them and then I'm gonna pop these in every time I see a gap in the text now that might seem a bit long-winded but it's easier to put something in than take it out in um, this type of document because um, there's normally a sort of a beginning and an end and it can get, if you they don't necessarily always tie up if you like and it's very easy to sort of take one part of a bit of code out and not the other part and of course the system doesn't like um, the sort of start being there but not the finish so we're adding a few more gaps in but don't worry about that too much because that will tidy itself up in a little while so as you can see we're right down to the almost the bottom of the documents already there now we'll go and have a quick preview and bingo look there's our document pretty much as we want it and it's in the right font which is a major boost 
So I'm only going to put a few of these pictures in. I won't put them all in. So there's our pictures there. So I just want to go back into compose mode now. Click on the where I want to put the first picture. I'll just put the first one in. And oh, they're already here, but whatever. So let's um, choose the file. Aston 1 is the one we want to take. Open that one up. Taking a little while. There it is. Add that in. I normally set them to large. Then we can take out the note of where it's got to go. Now I normally go for a sort of a line below a paragraph and a line above. And you do the same all the way through the document. And then we just go a quick preview. Click on here. There we have it. So we can then sort of quite easily sort of go down through the document doing all that sort of thing. The only other thing was that link that we spotted, which I'm going to have no end of trouble trying to find again, but it's here somewhere. Well, there it is. So there's that link there, which is quite a long link. We need to create that, so I'll cut that out of the, the document. And it says, um, there's obviously a few little um, other grammatical errors in this and typos, but we'll, we'll I'm sure you're capable of sorting those out. So we'll just paste our link in, bingo, and and well we're, there's our link obviously it doesn't work in preview mode but whatever so it's basically um, copy your text ba -bum, from word or wherever I don't want to save that go into HTML mode paste it in and then before you do anything else um, put in these break commands then go back into compose mode, stick your pictures in or whatever, um, title it, schedule it, do all the usual stuff. And that's the quick and easy way I found of um, adding Word documents in. If you're on WordPress, there is a specific icon for pasting in from Word. Uh, sadly, Google haven't done that with Blogger yet, I suppose. But um, one day they might. Who knows? <laughs> Thank you for watching.